We're taking a turn to weather. It's actually been a very busy night for you. Yes. You've been covering some severe storms. We had uh, several tornado warnings, a handful of severe thunderstorm warnings. Right now, luckily, no reports of any significant damage, and we always like it when That's that good. happens, Felicia. Yeah. Um, even though we told you to stay weather aware and you had to get in your safe place at times tonight, definitely don't want any damage. We are still tracking some storms at this hour. I'm going to get you caught up on a, a couple of the stronger ones. Right now, in terms of tornado and severe thunderstorm, no warnings, but we do have flood warnings for Tippecanoe, Montgomery counties, back through Fountain, into Park, Vermilion, Northern Vigo, all because of some very heavy rain with slow moving storms. Some rain totals two, three, four inches based on estimations on radar. This is by far our strongest area of storms from Whiteland to Franklin to Columbus. This is kind of pivoting off to the northeast towards Shelbyville and Hope. Perhaps some brief gusty winds, heavy rain and a little bit of lightning with that. No lightning here, but heavy rain moving through Newcastle. We go back northwest from Anderson to Kokomo. Heavy rain in Peru. Again, this will pivot northeast toward Wabash, Marion, Gas City and Fairmount. We also still have some rain around the Delphi area. The good news, the center of the storm system is finally getting close to us. And once we get it east of us, we are back into some sunshine. Now, the forecast for tomorrow, carb day at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. There will be some off and on showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. We're only forecasting temperatures 65 to 70, so grab the rain gear, maybe a jacket, sweatshirt, extra water, always a good idea for this event, and that Live Doppler 13 weather app because you can track the showers along with us with Live Doppler 13 radar. Is it going to rain heavily all day long? No. Will we be in and out of some showers? Yes, but I also think there will be a few dry hours here and there, much like the last couple of days. And as I mentioned, this finally all moves out as we get the weekend underway, stopping future track 13 noon on Saturday. That's when we get the parade underway with sunshine and temperatures in the 70s for the parade, low 80s for race day on Sunday, and then we heat it up. We end the long holiday weekend near 90 on Memorial Day.